Rewriting rational expressions. A rational expression is a quotient of two polynomials. Because rational expressions are ratios of two polynomials, you can simplify them the same way you would simplify any fraction. Now, let's do an example of just simplifying a rational expression. This will help us later on when we're doing other types of things with poly rational polynomials. Okay, so the first thing is these should look familiar because they're just monomials, and we just have to simplify. So we group our numbers together, so 10 and 6. So they can both be divided by 2, so that would be 5 and 3. And then we have our x's, where we have 8 x's up top, and we have 4 down low, so that means 4 of them cancel out, leaving us with x to the 4th. So our final answer is 5 x to the fourth divided by 3, and that is your final answer, simplified. For this next example, we have x squared plus x minus 2 over x squared plus 2x minus 3. So in these, we want to just factor out and then cancel if we can. So starting out by factoring the numerator, x and x. And since the second sign is negative, they're going to be opposite signs, so 1 plus, 1 minus. Multiply together to get a negative 2, add together to get a positive 1x. So that would be 2 and 1. And then we double check, we can FOIL it back out to make sure it works, and that does. And then that's going to be over our denominator factored out. And again, this one's going to be x and x and multiply together to get negative 3, add together to get a positive 2, so that would be a plus and a minus, and it would be 3 and 1. Foil it back out to make sure it works, and it does work. So, now we can simplify, because I have everything multiplied together, or divided, I can cancel out over the fraction bar, so the x minus 1 can cancel out with the x minus 1, leaving me with a final answer of x plus 2 over x plus 3. However, we're not completely done. We have to find where x cannot be true. So we need to find x cannot equal what and x cannot equal what. Now to find this, you need to go back up to your factored form and set anything equal to 0 because you cannot have 0 in the denominator. Since the denominator cannot equal 0, then we just have to set those individually equal to 0. So x plus 3 equals 0, and x minus 1 equals 0. So that would mean that x cannot equal a negative 3, and x cannot equal a positive 1. So those would be our two x's, what x cannot equal. So that would be your entire answer. You have to have both parts. For this next one, we have 3x plus 4 over 3x squared plus x minus 4. So first thing, we're going to try to factor. Obviously, there's nothing we can factor on the top, so the numerator is going to stay the same as 3x plus 4. But we should be able to factor out the denominator. Now, as a general rule of thumb, if you have something factored, you would want to assume maybe that that same factor is in one of them on the bottom. So let's try to see if we can factor out a 3x plus 4. Okay, so that would make it to multiply our first terms. When we FOIL back out, it's going to have to multiply by an x. So 3x times x is 3x squared, so we're good there. And they need to multiply together to get a negative 4. Well, then that would have to make that a negative 1 because 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. So now if we FOIL that back out, we would see that negative 3x plus 4x is equal to 1x. So we are good there. So we have found our factors. And then we cancel things out. And we get our final answer of 1 over x minus 1. Now remember to put that 1 in there. This is not canceling out to 0, it's canceling out to 1. So don't forget to put the 1 in there. And then we have to figure out what x cannot be. x cannot equal wherever the denominator equals 0. So x cannot equal 1, and x 
cannot equal, if we subtract 3x plus 4 equals 0, subtract the 4, 3x equals negative 4, divide by 3, so x cannot equal negative 4 over 3. So those, that would be your entire answer. x cannot equal 1, x cannot equal negative 4 thirds, but x equals 1 divided by x minus 1. And that's your final answer. Just make sure that when you are factoring things out that you FOIL it out all the way and understand what can cancel out and what it cancels out to. So that's it for your notes over rewriting rational expressions. Go through the practice problems. Make sure you get comfortable with these factoring, factoring this out, which is what we did earlier. And then you can take your quiz over the material.